I've just pulled up in the car. Gosh, the lighting in here is so bad. Um, I'm in the city today for the day, just a quick day trip. Um, I left at 5 a.m. So I got up at four o'clock. I was just checking my makeup in the mirror because I did my makeup in the complete darkness. Like I had the light on, but it was so dark um, at four o'clock. So I couldn't even see. So anyway, I'm just quickly getting ready, going in. Um, I'm here at Chadston this morning um, for like a really exciting event. It's with L'Oreal and Hair House. So um, yeah, I thought I'd start the vlog, um, show you around the event, see what's happening. And then I've got a few jobs I wanna do whilst here as well, like check out the shops. So I thought you could come shopping with me. But first, I need to get some lipstick on just to finish off the look. Oh, it's really hard to even see. So I've just popped on some of my favorite MAC strip down liner and then going over the top with my new favorite. I've spoken about this a few times now, but I'm actually obsessed. I've been wearing it every day. The one from Shantakai, which is called Sari Rose. It's just so natural and pretty, but I also um, am busting to go to the toilet. Oh my gosh, the drive. It actually didn't take that long today. Like, it, I mean, it did, but it didn't feel like it did. It's taken me about four and a half hours to get here because it was just like the traffic. Like, it's just one of those things that you really can't avoid um, at this time of the day. So, that's okay. But I sat in quite a lot of traffic. One thing I don't get about traffic, like this might sound really dumb and really weird, but how does it work? For example, like, on the freeway, we were at a standstill, like not moving. And I just keep thinking like, there's obviously some really good scientific, like physics or something, some explanation for why this is happening. But if all the cars just keep driving, why does traffic come to a stop? Like the car at the very front of the line, if you just keep moving, like on the freeway I'm talking, obviously there's no traffic lights, roundabouts and stuff. How does that happen? Like, it's just so weird to me anyway. That was my weird thought for this morning. Um, but yeah, I had a nice drive. It was just like so nice getting up that early and being on the road, like watching the sunrise. It was just beautiful. And then I actually listened to podcasts most of the way until I kind of got about an hour outside Melbourne. And then I just had some music. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to podcasts by um, the What... No, sorry, the We Are Twin Set Girls. What is their brand? What the brand? But yeah, it's called Twin Set Unzipped. If you haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. Check them out on Instagram and stuff too because, um, yeah, very exciting. Someone's just pulled in next to me and they're looking at me so weird because I'm talking to the camera. Anyway, love it. They talk about fashion, motherhood, and I think I can relate a lot more now because I'm a mum. Not that you can't, but like I just love hearing the stories and stuff. So, yeah, that was very exciting. I actually need to just shut this. Ooh. Yeah, anyway, I love it. And I just think it's like a really nice one to just um, get you started for the day. Um, I've been listening to it on walks and stuff, but I had quite a bit more time, obviously, um, in the car. So I listened to it most of the way, which was nice. Um, so I've caught up on all their episodes now. But yeah, just like fashion, style stuff, and just like motivation, morning routines, and things like that. I just think it's like a really nice podcast. So check that out if you haven't. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head in. I really need to find a toilet. And I'm going to get dressed. This is not what I'm wearing. I'm wearing like a cute little dress um because it's gonna be 24 it says here today which is quite warm but you know in shopping centers you never kind of know what the vibe is whether they've got the aircon on so i've got like a, um, a jacket to pop over and some flats but it was just really cold and i wanted to be cozy in the car so i popped this on this morning but i'll try and show you my outfit when we get in there Here is our 
no, it's not for damaged hair. Yep. Bit amino, our colour hair. So okay. each of the ranges you've got your shampoo. So you use that whole each product kind of works it together. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you've got your shampoo, your conditioner or mask. If you've got fine hair, go for the conditioner. Okay. Big hair, go for the mask. Yep. And then you've always got your texturizer. This is an amazing product by the way, and one of my yep. favourites. I use it okay. as a detangler. But it's Perfect. also um, got heat protection. Heat protector. In there. Yep. Um, and it's great for your your color care styling. Yep. Then the third big range is our blonde. So you've got your blonde for cools. If you need a purple shampoo, you've got your mm -hmm. chroma creme and your conditioners or your yep. masks for fine or for thick hair. Mm -hmm. Then the game changer product though that you use with everything. I don't know if anyone's been talking no. about this. No. Okay. Cool. I like the this, packaging. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So this product can be keep using in conjunction with anything. So we say right, your primary okay. needs. Pick which one. Yep. And if you wash your hair, say twice in the week, you wash one day week this. Yep. Second day week this. This mm -hmm. product here is a hair neutralizer to remove metals that are captured in our hair from the water we wash our hair. Right. Okay. So no matter where you live in the world, there are metals and copper found in the in, in the pipes. Mm -hmm. It's not an impact to your health, but it can cause damage and weaken the hair. Right. So what this does is it neutralizes the hair, removes um, all any coppers or metals. Yep. Um, and especially if you're someone who colors their hair, metals can also impact the color. So right. This okay. This like vibrancy yeah. protects the hair. You got your shampoo, yeah, your like mask, a mask, and yeah. an oil heat protection. Okay. Smooth down any of the frizzies. Great for styling. Right. That's so interesting. Yeah. So good. So well. Yep. Um, these two babies launched about 18 months ago and yep. they are number one sellers. Right. And this is just launched now. So you're going to get to go home with this. Yeah. Um, oh, cool, I can't wait to try that. Um, travel size product. Yep. And you've got a nice little volumizer product in there as well. Ooh, you've got you. your travel size shampoo and mask, but your full size um, Yeah, I can't oil. wait to try that This out. is an amazing offer. I mean, for you it's complimentary, but yep. this, for the customer, they're getting these two products for free. So they're just buying that on yep. its own. But we want them to trial the whole one, two, three regime. Mm -hmm. And also, is, oh my gosh, what are we, Wednesday? Wednesday, yep, Wednesday. Wednesday up until this Sunday. Okay. Um, all customers that come out through the booth, they get the opportunity to sign up to Hair House and Laura Professional yep. uh, for their seven day complimentary Siri Expert hair care yeah. sample. And they also get 20% off their first Siri Expert purchase here at Hair House Chadston. Yeah. So they can purchase it here. They yeah. can. However, we do have some exclusive offers on site as well. We've got some great value offers set as well and of course our incredible steam pod which you're yeah, going to get so exciting i'm excited to try it out heard great here. things yeah. yeah so come on down we're here till Ooh. sunday friend for lunch the hair um, so they use the steam pod which um, I've heard so much about and it's so so nice it's given it a very light sort of like blow wave look but I will say my hair wasn't freshly washed so it probably would have worked better if I had fresh hair which I didn't um, but yeah it looks so nice just like really natural and it gives like such a nice shine as well which I think is so cool because 
everyone's hair that was getting done there just looks so healthy lush um but yeah really really cool and i'll show you like some of the new products and stuff that i picked up um when i get back but anyway now into the shops but first i need to get some lunch i haven't had that much to eat yet and as i mentioned i've been up since four so i'm quite hungry Oh no, the size. Okay, so we just um, popped into David Jones. Mads has just bought a new house. Yay! <laughs> um, so we're just doing some home shopping. I'm gonna have a look at, I'm just browsing as well. We can always look at home stuff. Yeah, um, but yeah, enough. we're just having, she's having a look at some, not cutlery, um, um, like, like plates. What's it? Plates. What is the word for it? Dinnerware? 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 I don't know. We'll go with dinnerware. <laughs> anyway, so she just come to have a look. Um, yeah, just to see them. We've just had a really nice lunch at this cute little place um, called... Cinque Terre. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, had some fries. Uh, yeah, so now we're just doing a little bit of shopping. And then... I don't know where. I need to fill in some time before I have my long drive home. So I'm trying to like get some stuff done. I want to go try on some new foundation um, as well. Um, what are you thinking? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, it'll fit on this channel because I am looking for plain white. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> Just yeah. before I turned the camera on, she was like, oh, I only wear neutrals when I hang out with you so that I can fit in with your vibe. <laughs> because a shiver of wolves. And I'm at like, least thank I you. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I fit in with good vibe. So my plates, my okay, future let's have plates, a look. will fit in with pink. Yeah, I approve. And we'll Cute. So, yeah, no, they're nice. Nice just and classic. White and like a little These bit. These are big of decisions, texture. though. Yeah, I like those. And I, like. I always like to make sure that it's something that's like a classic staple line. Like they always make because if you break one, then you need to. Yeah, like it. you know, or it's like not a random shop that you just no, saw them in. Like DJ's right. always going to have. Well, you know what I mean? I've seen this set. Yeah, that's um, really nice. A few times over the years that I've liked. Yeah, and. It's just plain, simple, white, easy, not completely yeah. boring. So there's a little bit of texture. nice, and I like that you can add, like, yeah, um, you know, serving, serving stuff. Yeah. yeah, nice. How do you pronounce this brand? Le Creuset. Le Creuset. Okay. Or I'm sure if you're French and you have a beautiful Le French Boisette. accent, or something like that. <laughs> okay, so we were trying to decide what color she likes in these. Like that. That's a nice size, though. I like that. It like nice. lower. I've got a similar vibe sitting on my oven. So That's I vote the... Something. Yeah, that is annoying. I don't think it's meant to. Oh no, they're all different. Yeah. I vote the ivory. Yes. <laughs> of course I do. Definitely not vibing the red. No. But I do agree Mads likes this blue colour. I do think it's really cute. Very pretty. This is a pretty colour. Yeah, that's really nice. Can it's I also classic. say, this is the first time I've ever had red, had red nails. I like it. And now it's like in your monochrome. No, I like well. it though. <laughs> I like that colour, show us. I also like... Well, my girlfriend actually did them because she's... No, I really like them. She's learning how to do nails for a course. Oh, cool. So... Do you know what other colour I like? You know that, um... It's like a wine colour. Oh, yeah. You know... Yeah, for like winter. I'm thinking... I've obviously had the same colour for like 100 years, so yeah, I was thinking for I winter. normally pick nude. Yeah, same colour. Um, I was thinking maybe in winter I'll mix it up to go like wine colour. But I'm yeah. also wanted to stick to testing out like wedding colours. Oh, yeah. Just no. like perfecting, you know. I would I mean? do that too. Yeah. Okay. We like the blue. I like the blue. Yeah. That's cute And as I well. think too, because for those of you watching at home, I purchased <laughs> a house. So, yeah, it goes with the vibe. Coastal, like, but like classic. Yes. Classic coastal. Yes. Yeah. Cute. What are you thinking about the kettles? I mean, really cute, but I. I yeah, it wouldn't have it. One, so I just wanted to use it. Yeah. Yep. But super cute. The lighting's atrocious in oh, here. Is it? Also, one thing I need to shop for is an onion. Will they have those here? You no, know, like a, a chopper. The, the an cube? Onion. Yeah. Onion Cutter? chopper. We'll find it. Cut a thing for my onions so that I'm not crying my eyes out. Oh, I bought this. What is this? This is so cool. 
It has... Wait, you've already got this? Yes. Yeah. So it like comes oh, as a nice set, so it sits it in. Sits in nicely. But it's you get cups and a mixing bowl, things. colander, sieve, small mixing bowl, and then like cups. That's so it's great. very neat. Are they silicone? Um, like easy to wash. They look they easy. Are easy to yeah. Wash. How are you? Oh, no, no, you're fine. <laughs> She's trying to find the color she has now because it's a bit too dark. So what is what would be the next color? Oh, like lighter. For lighter, you can go with the four. So there though like that's quite tan yeah you know what I mean oh yes yeah it was a clever these ones mm -hmm. so I feel like these few other pairs and they're all black so I feel like I really need something that's do they look too big on my face no I don't think so I think they're bigger than what you normally wear but I don't yeah, think so my other ones are just I feel like they're a little more diva-like, like a little more mysterious. Like, who is she? I think they're a bit of a vibe. They are. They're fun. I feel like the other ones are more Yeah, you can't. Yeah. You need to try them. They look good on you too. I just love these, but I just don't know whether I would get over that rounded style. And again, I like these, but they've got like a thick arm. I just love that they don't. Right, I just got home from a little meeting down the street and I thought I would quickly share my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this cardigan again, obsessed with it. Um, this is the Massimo Duty one. Gosh, hopefully that's, oh, the lighting's really bad in here. Anyway, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so I've started up so far just with trousers. So I thought today it's quite nice outside. So I thought I would go for like a slip skirt. This is just like a black silk style one from Forecast. Then these ballet flats, which I've been wearing heaps. They're from Sandbag. Um, hey, Cokes. Uh, yeah, it's actually really warm outside, like 24 degrees. About to go for a walk with a friend. And yeah, so warm. Anyway, just had like a meeting. And yeah, now about to get on with the rest of the day. See you there for a sec. I feel like I didn't properly finish vlogging yesterday in Melbourne. So kind of ran out of time and then I just had to drive home and the drive home took me so long nearly five hours um but it was all right I just listened to some podcasts and stuff like that some music to get me through but yeah the event was really really good um I got some really good hair products that I'll show you in a minute that I'm really excited to try out actually I had a really good chat with them um the lovely team there at L'Oreal Pro just about like some of the science and stuff behind some of the hair care and I was speaking to her about my postpartum hair how it's thinning and like it's fallen out a lot and she actually gave me this new shampoo and conditioner to try out that is like for thinning hair so hopefully um yeah i'll share that with you and i'll try it out and let you know how i go um what else i didn't really get up to much else though at the shops i was planning to go like have a bit of a shop have a look around but had lunch with my friend like one of my girlfriends and then we just went into a few shops quickly like we did some homeware shopping as you would have seen saw and then we went to one shop which I'm not going to tell you any more information but we went to one shop and I tried on a really beautiful dress that I absolutely loved and I think it's going to be a part of my wedding outfits so that was really exciting don't know which outfit yet but I just loved it um but yeah anyway um just waiting now for Camilla to come home and I tried on some new a new color today in the Giorgio Armani foundation this is luminous silk um as I was saying yesterday I was wearing the shade 525, I think, or 75. 
I'm not sure. Anyway, and I've had it for a while, but it was just way too dark for me, too orange. Like the color was just off, not the right shade. And I've been mixing it with the face and body from MAC just to make it a bit lighter and like, um, yeah, different consistencies. So anyway, I tried today 525, uh, 425, sorry. The lovely lady at David Jones actually gave me four different colors to sample. I tried them on in store, but it's just really hard in the department store to check the lighting. And I already had makeup on, so it's so hard to sort of tell like what color. I just, it's one of my worst things to shop for is foundation because I feel like everything else you can kind of get around. Like if you try on a blush or a bronzer, it's like not amazing. Like you can still get away with it, but foundation or concealer, I feel like it's just very specific. So anyway, tried that out hopefully you can see i just look if you haven't tried it out as a foundation highly recommend i've used it for years i love it it's very luminous and it's silky <laughs> that sounds weird but the name is spot on it's very luminous it makes your skin look gorgeous and i love it because it's not heavy and thick coverage which i don't really like it's very natural and then i just pop on a bit of bronzer and blush which i actually tried a new tip today or yesterday as well because I've been obsessing over Sophia Richie's wedding, as we all have, and her makeup artist shared a video on TikTok and she did a little bit of cream blush first on like a fan, with like a fan brush, and then she went over the top with the powder blush and it just made it look so nice. So I used, I'll show you what I used, I used Rare Beauty Blush first. Turn the light on in here. Um, this one in the shade nearly neutral so nice highly recommend these from rare beauty if you haven't tried them oh gosh sit you there for a sec it's this really gorgeous shade and then i just use this like fan sort of brush then i use this hourglass blush down the bottom there over the top worked so nicely um just very like natural and i think it doesn't look like too cakey and that's what i loved about um sophia's makeup for her wedding it was like flawless anyway i'm happy with this color i think it's a lot nicer a lot more natural not as like dark heavy looking anyway camilla is home now so can i get dressed out of this outfit and go for a walk it's just like so nice out in the sun so really need to start enjoying it before it is um gone and harry's off today he's going to singapore so he's heading overseas for about five days or so so just gonna hang out with him and then he's off tonight and yeah, it's just going to be Camilla and I for the whole weekend. Um, but yeah, anyway. And look what just arrived from Marcella London. My other jacket. So when I get home, I cannot wait to try that on. Morning, guys. It's currently Monday. And it's a few days after I was in Melbourne. So this vlog's jumped forward a few days. Um, but I will catch, up, catch you up on how Melbourne went. I want to go through some of the products that I picked up from L'Oreal Pro, which are really exciting. Um, don't mind the wet hair. I've actually just had a haircut. <laughs> I've just come from my mum's and had a wash and a cut, but I was like, don't, my mum's a hairdresser, by the way. Um, and yeah, and I was like, don't worry about drying it or anything because I'm going to go home and style it up for the day. So yeah, that's why I've got no makeup, wet hair. Anyway, it's currently Monday and I've just got home. I've been staying at my mum and dad's this weekend with Camilla. Harry's away. He's gone to Singapore for a few days, which is really exciting for him. He's having a really good time. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've just been staying around there just um, with Camilla, like just for the weekend because we were there anyway doing stuff. So yeah, we just stayed there and then I've just come home, bring my stuff in and... I'm about to get ready for the day, working today, so my mum has Camilla. And yeah, I'm just like getting ready for the week, but it was a really nice weekend. It was just like really slow, catching up on stuff. I actually had like a little procedure on my arm on Friday, like something cut off. So I was feeling a bit like, just a bit flat for the weekend, like it was kind of hurting a little bit, so I didn't really get up too much. Um, it was just like the perfect catch up weekend. My arm's getting really sore holding the camera. Um, yeah, perfect catch up weekend. I just like went for a really nice walk yesterday with a friend, went for lunch. I did some cooking on Saturday afternoon, like a big bake up, cooked up some stuff for the week, which was really good. Cleaned out the fridge, did the groceries. So I'm feeling good for this Monday. I was supposed to go to Pilates this morning, but um, Camilla was awake all night. <laughs> Hence why well, I'm probably looking really tired. I don't know what it is. The last few nights she just, or well, last night, she was just awake all the time. I don't know whether it was she wasn't in her, her normal bed, 
but I mean she's really used to staying there and she's usually really good she's also getting a few teeth so I'm not sure anyway she was awake most of the night so was I so I couldn't go to my 6am Pilates which was really sad because I was looking forward to like getting ready for the week but I promised myself that I'm still going to try and do some sort of movement today whether I've still got to get heaps of work done but I'll either go to the gym tonight or maybe just do like a Pilates class or something at home on the TV. Um, but yeah, anyway, I've just come home. First um, job of the day is I'm going to make my smoothie. I'm trying to stay really on it this week, but I went to do this the other day and I'd run out of milk. Um, so I just quickly stop off at the health food shop, get some milk. Then I'm going to make smoothie, going to get dressed do my hair and makeup for the day. Um, I might talk you through, I actually picked up a new hair curler. So I'm gonna try that out and I'm gonna try it out on my freshly like cut hair. So hopefully that will work better. Um, but yeah, smoothie. Then I've got a few things happening today. I just need to make a really big plan for the week. What's happening? I've got a few jobs. So yeah, I need to like stay on it this week. I say this all the time in the vlogs, but it's me trying to like make myself, keep myself accountable. But yeah, I need to stay on to it this week with like having breakfast and like eating throughout the day, staying healthy to like trying anyway. Um, but yeah, Harry's coming home tomorrow. So that's really exciting. Um, but yeah, I've just like come home to a really clean house. I also did a big clean on Sunday, uh, Saturday afternoon. Yeah, Saturday. Just like vacuumed mopped everything which was really good so you know when you just like start the, i wish i could start the week like this every weekend like there's uh start the week like this every week there's no reason why i can't but i feel like i just get caught up on the weekend sometimes but this one was a really nice slow one so anyway happy monday um and yeah we'll crack on i'm gonna make my smoothie now and then get on with the day I'm also going to pop on a podcast while I make my breakfast and start getting ready. I've been listening to this one from Mel Robbins. Um, she's like this kind of like author, like entrepreneur, like quite inspiring. So she's got really good ones on like habits, morning routines, like all of that kind of great stuff. So I'm going to pop that on. Beth bombs and academic papers. So ready to hopefully put some curls in so I just had like a healthy chop off the ends and then chopped like a little bit more layer in around the face so hopefully that will help with my curl um, I'm not wanting to cut it like too short or anything yet because I'm wanting to hopefully like keep it a good length for the wedding because I don't really know yet what I, like if I want to wear it down or up so I just want to kind of keep it at a length that I can do both so that I've got that option I'm gonna move this. But yeah, I've spoken about this lately um, a lot, but my hair just ever since having Camilla, it's just been awful. And I know so many of you struggle with the same thing. Like it's just gone so thin. Um, it was falling out a lot. It's kind of, it stopped falling out, which is good, but it's just like so thin and it doesn't hold any style, anything like that. Like my air wrap used to curl so nicely for me and I used to love it. I haven't been enjoying it much lately because it really hasn't been working but I will try it again once I've like had a cut because I think having a cut and having more layers definitely helps. Also my hair does have colour but it's not as like heavily coloured anymore. It's a bit more natural so that also doesn't help your style hold. Like I feel like if you've got a lot of colour and it's a bit more dry gives it like a bit of body and something to hold the curl in so but anyway, I've also just purchased this last week from Hair House. It is the Babyliss Pro Curler. <laughs> I don't know. I was going on a little bit of a, um, I was just like really fed up with my hair and I think I was just ready to try something new. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a new hair tong and try it out. This is in, I'm just checking the size, 38 mil barrel. It's the biggest one that they've got and I'm hoping it can just like give me just like a nice wave. It doesn't even have to be super tight because I know usually if you want tight curls, you go for a smaller barrel, but I wanted kind of like a bigger bouncy wave. 
Um, I also have the GHD curler. I've got a muck curler, but none of them were this big. So I just wanted to try a bigger barrel, try it out. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get something to work. Also, I just popped this in my hair and then blow waved it. Um, the girl sold me this at the shop. It's from the brand KMS. It's called Therma Shape. It's kind of like a holding spray, but it's also got heat protectant. So I usually use different heat protectant, but today I just thought I'll use this, sprayed it in. Hopefully it will give it some hold. I don't know, we'll see how we go. But I totally understand that. It's just one of those things you have to go through when like pregnancy, your hair goes really amazing. I feel like it gives you great false hope thinking, oh, my hair's brilliant. Um, and then all of a sudden it falls out and it goes really thin, but anyway, it's had a nice cut. So it's feeling like nice and healthy, which I love. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a curl and just see how we go today. Usually my hair anyway, so I'm not like, I don't have great hopes because usually it doesn't style it well after like fresh wash and it's just been washed. So I don't know how it's going to go anyway, but we shall see. Also, I'm not a pro with really using the tongue ones because the muck curler that I have is just a stick. So you just wind it around. So I'm still playing around with how to use this too. Like whether I hold it like this and kind of, or I go this way. Um, I don't know. I mean, that curl is nice, um, but I'm not going to get my hopes up yet because this always happens and it looks really nice. And then in about four minutes, it will be flat. <laughs> and I was also chatting to one of the hairstylists at the L'Oreal Pro event that I went to in Melbourne the other day. And she used like at the end, instead of hairspray, she used like a um, texturizing spray. And I was just asking her opinion on like hairspray versus texture spray. And she was just saying like, Sometimes hairspray can just sit on top of the hair and it can actually make your style flatter, like depending on the type of hairspray. So that was kind of interesting because usually I just think, oh, the more hairspray I put in, the more it will like hold. But now I'm thinking like that's not necessarily true. So I just think it's such a like playing game. Like just you have to trial things for what works with your hair. Like it's the same with skincare, same with any of that. Like your hair is just so different to the next person's hair. Like you'd see on TikTok, you see people using the air wrap and their hair just looks amazing. They say, yep, it holds really well. Um, and like, that's great. Like it just works so differently on different hair. And again, people have different genetics. You have different like color in your hair. It might be drier, more bleach. Um, so I just think you have to, unfortunately, try out different things. Um, and see what works and same with like hair products like different products serve different types of hair Oh, that one wasn't so great. I mean kind of um, The other thing I also spoke with her about was mousse. Um, I had been using mousse thinking that You know, it was like providing a bit of volume which it definitely gives me volume But I thought it will help the hair stay she said depending on the mousse sometimes it can just make it gritty and then the heat won't actually stick to it. It makes it voluminous, so it gives you volume, but it won't actually hold the style. So I'm like, okay, it's a catch-22. Do you want volume or do you want style? You can't have it all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm so sad. Here we are after spending all of that time curling. It just drops so much and like it, Oh, I just really thought the haircut was going to help. I mean, I think I'm just going to have to live with flatty, oh, just flat hair at the moment. But I thought I will pop on and show you what it looks like before reverting to just popping it in a bun. Because if you're also struggling with this, you're totally not alone. Like, honestly, it, it's just really like, I feel really silly talking about it because it's not even a big deal. Like, it's just your hair. But... It's just another one of the things that when you go through pregnancy and your hormones are changing, it's just another thing that changes within your body. And when you're used to like having your hair a certain way, it just takes 
a while to get used to like new hair and how you're doing it so it does knock your confidence a bit so yeah i just want to say that if you're also struggling oh, struggle is real and then i think like why do i bother spending an hour half an hour doing it when i could have been doing other things like i just look in the mirror and it just looks so flat and it's really deflating anyway i'll probably just put it up in a bun now which is so sad <laughs> Okay, so here's the flattest tack hair. I mean, it looks okay in terms of like, it looks very not, like effortless and wavy, but I swear this will be really flat in no time at all. But just quick outfit check. Um, we're just about to go get some like outfit picks down the street. Hopefully the rain holds off. Um, but yeah, wearing this new little knit. Um, this new one in is from Forecast. I'll link this down below because it's a really nice, really perfect for autumn winter I think it's a really nice fine but it's also like thick enough that I feel like it's gonna be nice and warm perfect to wear under like trench coats wool coats and stuff um, when the weather gets a bit colder just popped it on with my belt trousers these are my fave from Zara that I keep getting lots of questions but they're a few seasons old so unfortunately I can't help out with which ones they are but um, yeah black classic pants these flats, these are my fave little nude ones from um, Nicholas Kirkwood. Yeah, so just a cute little simple outfit and I might throw like a jacket over the top. Not sure, but anyway, just packing up some clothes to um, go get some shots. So just gonna start packing. Okay, just gonna sit you here because I need to unbox something really exciting before we go. Um, so I spoke about how I ordered this on my last video, I think. Anyway, another exciting jacket. Okay, another exciting jacket in from this beautiful brand. Um, if you saw my last video as well, you should have seen my, it's like a really beautiful chai color, like a light beige in, it's very similar to this jacket, but um, I loved it. I ordered it in this really gorgeous light, like cream color as well. I'm just obsessed with these nice kind of like classic tweed sort of style blazers at the moment. Oh, love it. I think this is like a little bit more cropped. Oh no, I don't know. So the other one I think has pockets and this doesn't. Other than that, I couldn't tell. I think they're the same jacket, apart from the pockets. But we will see. Here we go. So nice. So this is from, I think I'm saying it right, Marcella, London. Um, beautiful, like, cream, beige. I'm just obsessed with these. I think they're so classic. Really great, like, alternative to a blazer. But I think you can style them up really nicely. Like, really classy with, like shoes heels whatever but you can also just have it like open kind of like an open jacket with like jeans they can also be quite dressed down okay i'm gonna try it on okay here it is popped on i feel like it's a little bit more cropped than the other one um but so nice i think they look so cute the cropped i feel like as well is nice with like trousers like this i mean you can't see the belt but so nice i love the buttons as well lovely gold um yeah really cute i think it looks nice with this sort of outfit i was just saying though i'm worried about getting makeup on this color like i feel like it's bound to get makeup it's quite high neck quite um but anyway hopefully it doesn't i got this in i think this is a size small medium um i don't really know what the sizing's like but this fits really nicely i mean i probably wouldn't wear something too thick underneath it if anything, if you were going to wear it open, probably just like a tank or like a large shirt or something. But um, yeah, really happy with this one. Um, now I just need a black one, I think. Need all the colours. <laughs>
maybe like walk or something like walk towards the yeah yeah that looks good Chloe and I are trying to film and I'm just stuck in the middle of the road holding up the traffic not really but people keep stopping thinking we want to cross she's we're trying to film a little um reel <laughs> let's see I think it looks cute I think this background really matches your outfit <laughs> yeah, I'm also loving Chloe's new badge we love that she also just got you've ordered a new one it hasn't come yet I love this. <laughs> Very cute. Okay, coming home to have one more outfit change. Um, just gonna sit back there. Pop you there so we can see. I'm gonna pop on this jacket. Then we're gonna go quickly get some lunch and hopefully we're trying to like beat the shops before they close, get something to eat, grab a coffee. So, I've never worn this like open like this, so I'm thinking of trying it on like, hang on, I'll show you, um, wearing it a bit more casually, so, just kind of like that, but I don't know whether I need to put something like white underneath, this is just like a beige, like tank, like a tank top, it's actually from a brand called What The Label, so, I don't know whether I need white, Chloe, what do you think? Where are you? No. This is Chloe's nice outfit. I'm not even ready. Here yeah, you are. I'm not. I'm just um, <laughs> sort of choosing in the mirror. Yeah, that looks really cute. But do I? Do you think I need yeah. white? Does no, this need to be I like white? That. I like that. Is it like because it's beige? But it's like creamy beige. Okay. Perfect. All right. Just finished up um, shooting a few looks with Chloe this afternoon. It was such a fun day. And now I've just got a little bit of time um, before I'm heading off to an appointment at four o'clock. Um, I'm off to get a facial done again. And I thought I'd take you along this time as well. I've started the prep now for my wedding, which is next year. So exciting. So I thought I would start sharing more of like what I'm getting done, how I'm looking after my skin and what treatments I'm doing. I've usually, which I've shared before, I've usually get um a peel and an led and then i've got a few hydrofacials thrown in there as well but last time i went um we were speaking about mixing it up before the wedding and like planning trying some hydrofacials trying some other facials as well in between and then in between the peel and leds and then we can kind of test out what we want to do closer to the wedding and like the week of and stuff like that so and my skin has been quite hydrated it's been a lot better but it's definitely feeling a bit dull so i'm ready for my facial this afternoon but i thought i would come on and quickly share some of the products that i picked up the other day at the really nice um, l'oreal and hair house event so i thought we could quickly go through them together so um i was there as i you may have seen in the videos i was there to check out their new um steam pod which was really cool really great technology and it was so nice chatting to the girls from l'oreal pro just to hear like all about the products and all the science and stuff that goes in behind it um some of the products have been researching for years and years so it was just really cool to actually hear from them like about what does go into it and like all about your hair care and stuff like that because i'm really as you know and i spoke about earlier i'm really on a journey with my hair at the moment so i was really interested to sort of pick over um pick their brains about like different products and i explained like i'm having like postpartum hair nightmares um which i said is completely normal obviously lots of people struggle with that so yeah it was just really interesting one of the main things which they've just launched which was really exciting to see was their metal detox range which this is one of the things i think she said they've been like five or seven years or something they've been working on this so super exciting um it's like a three-step hair routine so the first one is a cleanser which is like a um metal detox shampoo and she explained it kind of like um, just all of the metals that got popped into your hair and all of the dirt and like everything just from like daily living. It's kind of like, and if you've got, um, colored hair as well, it can cause breakage and stuff like that and damage over time. So this is kind of like their whole detox system program sort of thing that they've created like to use step by step, um, which I thought was really cool. And each product kind of goes back with each other, if that makes sense. So it kind of targets a different um purpose i guess so yeah the first one is the shampoo uh then it's got like a mask which is this one here then it, got, it has the oil which she said the oil is like 
one of the greatest products so i'm really excited to try that it's kind of like to help it says lightweight formula leaves color looking shinier and more vibrant hair is left feeling nourished and stronger it's also got heat protection for up to 230 degrees which i think is really good for an oil especially if you're going to pop it on like before you style your hair which i just think is so great so anyway i'm excited to try out um i haven't tried these before either so i just thought i would share what i got but um i'll definitely be trying them out and sharing along the way and then this um curl it's kind of like a curl cream i guess like defining the curls called bouncy and tender i'm excited to try that out also this repair oil which it's a different kind of oil it's more of like a leave-in treatment oil rather than just like a end of um it's like a styling oil 10 in 1 professional oil multi-benefit leave-in treatment i love like a leave-in conditioner treatment anything like that um so yeah it's got like a cute little like pump i'm gonna be stocked up for like trying out new hair stuff then when i was chatting to um one of the girls i was explaining about like the postpartum stuff hair loss it's getting really thin um, yeah, she said, you need to try this out. It's really great. It's like professional hair care. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm excited to try out. So she gave me this to take home and try. It is from their L'Oreal professional range. So different to the ranges that you see in like the supermarket and like chemist warehouse and like the chemist drugstore stuff. It's more of like a professional, um, like scientific research backed, um, product range. So I'm excited to try this. I'm not even a serioxal, I'm not sure, advanced. They've got different ranges, I think, for different things, but this one is for thinning hair. So that's what I'm excited to try. So it is a shampoo um, for thinning hair, and then also this, which is kind of like a serum. Um, it says D, Densifying Professional Serum, Density Activator Results. So you have to use it for six weeks, and she said it's kind of like something that it bonds to your hair, and then the more you use it over time, it keeps working, rather than just like, a treatment so i'm excited to try that for all my girlies out there that are like struggling with thinning hair as well i will keep you updated okay well just pulled up in the car and someone literally nearly ran into the back of my car oh my goodness um anyway sorry i know this vlog's been really all over the place very busy today's been productive but also busy monday i've just um got changed as you can see i'm heading to an appointment soon to get my facial um but first i've just popped down the street i want to go into chemist warehouse i want to go check out some um just like beauty bits and i need to get something for camilla so i thought i would just quickly go in there and then i got into these clothes because i really want to try and go to the gym after my facial appointment so i thought if i get in my gym clothes i'm more inclined to go the only thing putting me off is my appointments at four. Oh, someone's car alarm's going off. My appointments at four till five, so that means I'm going to gym the gym at five, which is like peak hour for the gym, like people after work, which I don't usually like. I like going like in the middle of like really early morning when there's not that many, or like middle of the day. Anyway, I need to get back into it. And I promised myself I didn't go to Pilates this morning because I was really tired from being awake all night, so I thought I'll go this afternoon before I pick Camilla up. So that's my goal for this week is just to try and not have, usually like I make all these grand plans with exercise for the week and then I don't stick to them because it's, you know, life gets in the way. So I thought this week, I'm just gonna try and move my body every day. Um, I shared a quote on my Instagram today too, which was kind of like, just put one foot in front of the other, something like that. And I think that's my motto for the week is like, don't look at the whole week, the whole month, whatever, because you can get really overwhelmed just focus on today oh it was something about yeah one one step at a time not the whole staircase something like that the quote was but yeah this week I'm really going to try and just okay today what can I do today tomorrow what's on tomorrow what's achievable um if it gets to the night time or this after like the afternoon and I haven't done anything because I haven't had time maybe I can go for a walk like just something then hopefully those habits will form once those habits are formed then I can focus on like um you know having like pilates a few times a week and like the gym and doing like strength on certain days cardio but i'm being realistic that it's too hard to form all of those habits at once so we're gonna try and just go to the gym that's a good step <laughs> that's the first step anyway off to the chemist we go
Okay, quick skin check. Just come out. Gosh, it's really hard to see. It's very glary in the car, but you can see that nice glow. Just had, um, yeah, uh, regular peel LED, which is great for just all the things like hydration. Um, the LED is really good if you've got like acne prone skin, scarring, reducing like wrinkles really good for like anti-aging all of that good stuff um but it just feels like so good after you have it done like your skin is just glowing it just feels really hydrated um yeah really deep it's kind of like good exfoliation as well so then i feel like your other skincare products can like really penetrate the skin um yeah and then so next time i'm booked in for a signature facial which i haven't had one of those before i've had a hydra facials which i love um but yeah i haven't had the signature but thought I'd try it out see what the like difference is some people prefer one or the other but I thought I would try them both out before the wedding and sort of see what I like the best or which my skin sort of gets the best results so that's in six weeks I think so I'll take you along for that when that comes up also really quickly before I go I forgot to show you the few products that I picked up from um, chemist so I wanted to try out their new um, brow gel so these are from Emco Beauty so Chloe and I were talking earlier they've got like a few new products out lots of dupes for like famous products that we know already but I needed a, like a brow gel I wanted to try this one out then this is a really good dupe for the Dior like lip glow whatever it's called so this one's the one from Emco is called glow up ph lip balm so i'm excited to try that out then this look at the packaging though <laughs> total dupe for charlotte tilbury lipsticks and the like look at the packaging it's like identical i've got the charlotte tilbury one in pillow talk so this is in the shade very shelly is it shellery very shelly um so i thought i would try that out as well i just love like testing out different products so i will test them out let you know but there's also a um really good dupe for the charlotte tilbury pillow talk lip liner that i want to test out but they didn't have it in stock so i might try a different chemist to try and get that in stock anyway i will let you know once i actually use them how i go camilla hi papa having a little yogurt and oh. it's monday night so yeah. uncle jack's here aren't you yeah what do we do on monday nights i don't know yeah what do we do? Uh, um, What's on Monday night? Monday night. Oh, uh, yeah. I uh, have Palma. Palma, yeah, but what is it? Pages? Pages Pub. Pages Pub! Pages Pub, yeah. You have nibble and snack. Nibbles and snacks. So, if you're new to Look, the I've vlog. Got oh, white. oh, you're showing top. everyone your worktop, your Ray White top? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pages Pub tonight, yeah. isn't it? Monday yeah. nights is Pages Pub night. If you're yeah. new to the whole Pages Pub, basically, um, it started in COVID Top when... Um, down, 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 down. Yeah, but we used yeah. to... Jack comes and stays with us every Monday night. Yeah. And during COVID, yeah. he would come and stay with us and you couldn't go out to the pubs yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Pub. you yeah. love going to the pubs, don't you? <laughs> yeah, getting a Coke. Yeah. Jack I, love. Yeah, at the pub. So Jack loves going to the pub... Um, loves getting a Parma or a pub meal and a Coke, something like that as like a special treat. So during COVID when we couldn't do that, we started this thing called Pages Pub every Monday night when he would come and stay with us yeah. and he would get to choose what's on the menu for the night. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we'd just like pretend we were at the pub, we'd have a drink and we'd cook up a pub meal. Yeah, and so it's just stuck around and he comes I on Mondays. Watch we would watch, watch movies, that's right. Yeah. Uh, have drinks. snacks and drinks so yeah. what are we gonna have tonight at pages pub have to have a look in the fridge what are we gonna have what about lasagna going on you yeah. i made a lasagna yesterday yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, treats. yay